Welcome to Narrow Boat, the James Bill. I hope you're very well, thanks for joining me. Well, today's video has been inspired by uh, a lovely couple called Les and Anne, who kind of came up earlier, um, and um, they're on their new boat, Glendine, and the colours, the boat was just stunning, absolutely stunning. It was in like a cream with a really nice kind of black detail around it um, and really cool art deco font it just looked amazing um, and it's made me think about the color scheme for this boat and I've been thinking about it and I kind of want to share it with you and get your opinion and your advice on it because there's a few kind of issues if you like uh, with regard to the coloring on this boat so Firstly, I would like it to be silver or grey and um, navy blue. A little bit like that one there. Oh, and fairness, that one there. There seems to be quite a popular colour. Um, but the roof, I want it to be grey. And the sides, I want it to be blue. Um, but the issue is, unlike a lot of traditional narrow boats where the sides come up and there's a definite ridge um, and therefore it creates a definite kind of roof area this doesn't obviously here it's much it, it, it's it's easier on the bow extension but here across the whole of the rest of the boat that's not the case it's just got this this curved side so there's no as i said there's no kind of um natural line for it to go to so therefore I'll have to create a line. So I would like coach lines on it. That is something I was thinking of in the same color as the gray on the roof. Um, so firstly, I'd like your opinion on where the kind of cutoff should be. If it's because I'm just thinking it's gonna look a bit strange. Obvious place for it to be. I guess the, the rail might be a, a a point of where it could change but then if that were the case then on here that's a bit weird because the rails straight across and obviously this part bends so that would look a bit odd um, the other thing is the color of morning is the color of um, yes they do no worries So the other thing is the colour of the gunnels. So if I was to have it in dark blue, then it's not going to stand out much from the bitumen there. I, I would like a contrast to be there. So I'm thinking of having it grey here and up to here and having like a coach line all the way down the boat there. So that'll all be grey. And then blue up to like there and then another coach line. But then that's the problem here is where does that coach line kind of kind of go that's that's my conundrum and then at the front here again what bit do i what you know how how is it colored here um i'd like that to be to be gray because i think that would stand out quite well um but i want it to look kind of uniform around the boat that's the idea um that glendine was just something else so yeah that's my kind of thinking at the moment and then what color should the rails be um, I think they should stand out from the roof so if the roof is gray then the rails should be the same blue as that um, that's what I'm thinking of the rails and then if I move down here to where the name is Again, I'm posed with another problem. So this side here, where obviously the name or the livery would be, is a big space, loads of room, no problem. On the other side, 60 centimeters before the kitchen window, galley window goes in there. So if it was to be matching on both sides, which most boats do, then it's going to have to be a really small sign there, which, well, it's not far off the size of that, which 
actually it'd have to be a bit smaller than that so that's no good at all it has to be much bigger which means both sides aren't going to match um i don't necessarily think that's a problem but um that's just the way it's going to have to be i guess and the only other thing i could do is have the signage possibly at the front i could have it there and then it'd be the matching on both sides but that's the only place on the boat it would match on both sides but no one has their name at the front i can't see so i think it should be at the back yeah i think it should be there but yeah your thoughts on this and then also what to do with these windows um should i have coach lines kind of surrounding the windows leave them as they are but i think this against the blue that gold against the blue is going to look a bit kind of regal um it's going to look like royal blue the gold's going to make it look like that and i don't know royal blue's a bit well prim and proper and this boat's not well that's it this boat's not uh, so I think that would be a bit wrong to have it in kind of a royal blue. So, but I don't want it too dark, I don't want it too light. And the other thing is I'm governed by the paint that I'm using on the top. I've already used Craftsmaster, so I have to use Craftsmaster top coats um, because obviously you can't really, well, it's not advisable to mix paints. So I'm kind of governed by the colours they do. They, they do have some really nice blues, so I'll have another look at that. But yeah, and then do I do the hatches in the same colour as everything else? Or do I do the hatch doors in a different colour? Because look like some boats have them in different colours. I'm just, you know what it's like when you look at something too long and you kind of start to forget what it is you'd like um, or what the best thing is to do. Because it would be nice to have some detail on this. I could have that top bit there in the grey. Maybe that central seam in the grey. I'm going to have to have some door stops on them to stop this happening. So, you know, there's going to have to be some detail on them. So, yeah. And then the mushroom vents. I saw someone on Facebook the other day that had done their mushroom vents for the first time ever. Oh my word. <laughs> There's the ceiling. I keep forgetting I need to do that. Right, okay. But um, So when I'm back in London, I might see if I can clean these up. I think the one on Facebook painted them gold, which did look pretty cool. This is going to be silver though, so I'm wondering if I should paint these navy blue. But I'm going to clean them up and see what they turn into. I think they're brass. So they might come up pretty nice, just, on, just as it is. So I'll do that. Oh, there's narrowboat hands. Now this is kind of what I'm talking about. So this is the boat that was in my spot. Um, but you'll see, so this guy's painted it on the hard standing on a ladder and he's got a damn good finish. But this is kind of, actually to be honest, that's the kind of blue I'm looking at. But obviously he's done quite a few coach lines there. But it's just come up so well. And that's using masking tape. I watched him do it. so yeah that's the kind of thing I was thinking so if that one there was grey and that bit there was grey going basically up onto the onto the roof of the boat and he's done little details like this so he's just broken it up obviously his is quite a long boat but he's just done that to break it up which I could do along those seams something I'm thinking 
but then I think this only works because he's got quite a few colors on it I don't think my you know I'd have to put a lot of colors on it I don't uh, don't really fancy doing that the less coach lines and masking tape I have to do the better I think but his windows are that bronze or kind of gold color and they look pretty good against that so yeah mine aren't dissimilar to these ones here anyway so uh yeah that's kind of what i'm thinking so give us your thoughts and i'll see you back on the boat thursday night bye bye